Hey folks, it's Digital Robin here with another live Linux walkthrough. Uh, today I just wanted to uh, bring to your attention some issues I was having in upgrading my Endeavor OS uh, up to XFCE 4.16. And uh, one of the issues, or say multiple issues I'm having in fact, is trying to actually get the display driver to uh, work properly. Uh, so I thought I'd share this with you and um, yeah, just uh, hope that uh, this will be useful to anybody else that experiences the same problem out there. So I was running uh, Endeavor OS on in, uh, XFCE 4.14 and uh, just today went to do a pacman-syu to do a system update. Uh, down came XFCE 4.16 which I was happy about uh, but uh, after a reboot um, I got left here in 1024 by 768 mode so not the greatest uh, you can see here that I have now brought down the full upgrade so here we are now on XFC 4.16 I've made no changes to any of the theming just yet so uh, uh, just to highlight the fact that the upgrade has happened I've rebooted and this is how it has looked straight after the reboot so no changes have been made yet so I've been brought in now to what looks like the XFC default wallpaper uh, this is obviously well I think this is actually a previous wallpaper from 4.14 but anyway that's not that's not the point of uh, the, the video here today um, yeah, so let's uh, take a look at uh, what we can do with NVIDIA. So NVIDIA actually I still have installed and uh, I've got um, no problems here apart from the fact that uh, I can't actually launch the NVIDIA settings manager. It just, it, it's in my menu but it just doesn't load, it fails to load. So there's obviously an issue at the moment where after the 4.16 uh, upgrade, um, it looks as if it's resetting everything. I've still got the uh, Endeavor OS theming going on here, but it looks to me as if it's reset the graphics driver or uninstalled it. I don't know. But anyway, if I did a where is NVIDIA, you can see that NVIDIA is still installed and it is there. And you can also see that it has still detected that I'm using an NVIDIA GeForce GT710 card. So what exactly is going on here? I don't know. So the next stage to do is to go to EndeavorOS.com. And if we go into the wiki and we go down to the uh, display drivers area under hardware in fact if I go into hardware section and we're going to dis uh, gra graphics cards here uh, you can see here that we've got sections around the NVIDIA so if I look at NVIDIA installer what I really need to do now is reinstall the NVIDIA installer and the NVIDIA installer DKMS so let's first of all just check to see that we've actually got the LTS headers installed. So here I'm just going to copy uh, the line that says sudo pacman s uh, Linux LTS headers. So I'm just going to copy this and bring this into my terminal. Right click and paste that there. And then just press enter. Enter in my password. Yep, yeah, so you can see here that the it looks as if the LTS headers uh, have either been updated or removed. So I just need to reinstall those. If they are already installed, it would say it here now, but you can see here now that it has installed the DKMS modules. So something bizarre has happened during the upgrade process here. Now, what next I need to do is after I've done that is to run the NVIDIA installer DKMS so let's just grab this quickly and if I copy this obviously I need to put a sudo in front of that one and I'll just paste that one in there so I'm now going to run the NVIDIA installer for the DKMS and let this run through its process now you can see that it has detected some conflicts and now it is going to hopefully now reinstall so it's removed those conflicts and now it's downloading and installing the driver packages. Now we have to wait a few moments for this to happen. And hopefully it shouldn't take too long, but last time I ran this update it uh, done it in under a minute. So we'll just uh, bear with and see how long it takes now. 
Okay, so that uh, installation took about uh, two and a half minutes to do, and now it's happened. It's now prompting me to uh, do a reboot of the system. So we're just going to take that, take a pause of the video, and we'll be back after our system reboot. Okay, so after a full system restart, we are now back logged into the Endeavor OS desktop, now running full HD at 1920 by 1080 as expected. And I've just run the NVIDIA uh, Server Manager tool here, and uh, yeah, it's managed to load. So there you go. So it looks as if the problems that I was experiencing was to do with the fact that I had to reinstall again the uh, NVIDIA DKMS driver there. But um, anyway, I just thought I'd bring that to your attention. Um, so if you have um, obviously got those issues, and I hope that uh, if you uh, uh, run those uh, commands there and uh, that process, that um, you're going to have the same success as I did there. Uh, just to show that I'm currently running the uh, 455 uh, uh, NVIDIA driver here so there's no problems so far so I'm back to uh, being normal again and now to prove the fact that we are on uh, XFCE uh, 4.16 there you go you see we see we're on version 4.16 and we've got no issues there still detected the fact that I'm running my uh, graphics card as I normally would and there's no real problems there so there we go so NVIDIA driver issue uh, re now resolved in Endeavor OS. For now, thank you very much for uh, watching. I hope I've been able to uh, uh, resolve uh, the issue if you've experienced the same as I here. Uh, if you want to get hold of me, you can uh, follow me on Twitter at Robin Just. Uh, there's my website, of course, at digitalrobin.net. And uh, otherwise, I will catch you again in the next video. Until next time, take care now.